Hey guys, it's Michael with Quiet Lawn. I'm uh, over here at my uh, mom's property maintaining her lawn. And I wanted to give you guys a two week review of the Ryobi RM300E that we've been testing. Uh, we've had it about two weeks. Uh, I've had a chance to go out in the field for a little bit and use it. Uh, my guys have taken it out several days. Uh, we again you know like i said before on our previous video my goal was to test this thing out to see if it's a possible solution for us um, what i really like about these mowers uh, the 48 volt line from ryobi is that we can get standard drop-in type batteries with like 10-year warranties uh, to swap out the existing batteries on here and there's not any other platforms that i can find that so uh you know i'm, I'm getting a lot of comments from people that uh you know saying things like hey don't you know they make a zero turn don't you know ego makes a zero turn don't you know about the 80 volt uh, line you know don't I know about all these other companies I'm very familiar with all the other options on the market I spend a lot of my time researching this stuff and I uh, picked this for a very specific reason you could also do the same thing I'm doing uh, with the 38 inch uh, riding mower which is the same as this except uh, a little bit wider uh, you could also do it with the 42 or the 52 or 52 or 54 inch uh, zero turn they also offer uh, the reasons i picked the smallest one of all of them uh, was one because of the weight this thing is at least 300 pounds lighter than any of those other options uh, which is big for our lawns uh, you know, especially since we get a lot of rain here in uh, coastal Carolina. Um, so it was lightweight, which means it's not going to tear up grass as much. Uh, it's not going to do as much damage if it hits something. So lightweight, uh, it's uh, maneuverable for the tiny lawns that we do. You know, our, our lawns are on average four to 5,000 square feet. Um, so a little, a little mower like this is uh, very easy to use. And one of the biggest things is the learning curve to train somebody on this is almost the same as training them to use a push mower you know it's a, a zero turn takes some time they're sensitive you got to be careful the controls can be pretty touchy especially with electric equipment so you know instead of having the guys take a month or two to get comfortable in a zero turn uh, you know where they're hitting stuff or having issues like that uh, I can throw somebody on this and they could be up to speed within an hour uh, in fact my eight-year-old son was mowing with this within a few minutes so you know the the learning curve to teach an employee this uh, is going to be much shorter than like i said a, a heavier uh, zero turn mower um, but uh, after two weeks we are very happy with this thing it's performed very well i wasn't expecting much run time with the lead acid batteries that are in it but I was surprised to find out that most days uh, the battery was more than enough to get through the day uh, even without depleting the batteries below half um, there were some days where we cut some of our really thick lawns uh, that it did you know run down uh, before we could finish up the day and the guys had to push more a couple of lawns but um, this these are some of our thickest most established lawns and uh, you know they're hard on all of our equipment um, but I was pleasantly surprised uh, on how it did. Um, you know, the guys really enjoyed the experience a lot better than push mowing, which is a no-brainer. Obviously, this is going to be a lot easier on the body. Um, we did see some efficiency gains, uh, you know, with the increased width of the deck and the increased speed. Um, for smaller lawns, you know, maybe in the two to $4,000 range, it wasn't as noticeable because, you know, these things are kind of they're not really efficient for those spaces because it takes so much tedious turning in tight spaces. Although this does have a very tight turn radius, which helps that. Um, so on those smaller lines, you know, two, three thousand square feet, you know, we might have saw maybe a five percent increase in speed. Um, but when you started getting to lines that are over five thousand square feet, uh, which are you know probably about a third of ours, uh, you know, that's where we started seeing probably 15, 20 percent gains in time. Uh, as far as how long it took to to complete the whole service um, so it was very helpful um, you know and uh, you know obviously like I said it's a no-brainer as well but at the end of the day it's a very different feeling uh, after riding this thing all day and mowing than it is to you know push mow you know 10 12 lawns uh, you know your body is 
has nowhere near the level of fatigue uh, you know riding this is as pushing a mower and like I said that's why people get riding mowers they are much easier um, so you know the good thing about this is it has a lot of the benefits of a push mower it's lightweight it's easy to use uh, it does a good job but it's a lot more comfortable too so my next plan for this thing you know we've tested it we've been trying it for two weeks and we've just been playing with it to see if it's going to be something we could try out uh, i've decided that it is and we're going to uh, go ahead and swap the batteries for this thing with some lipo 4 batteries that we're going to get from one of the best reputable most reputable companies that makes those batteries uh, and they're working on something right now with us and you know as soon as that comes to fruition i'll be sharing that information but um, they've also been looking into this line and other mowers and they see an opportunity for that you know make batteries for these different platforms that we're looking at because um, i think that's what needs to happen for this industry uh, you know you need to have it eventually where battery companies are making the batteries and mowing or these equipment manufacturers are making the equipment and just using those battery systems same as we have right now you know companies aren't toro's not making their own engine on their mowers and all these other companies they're using the ones that are already available so uh you know from like vanguard and other things like that and i know vanguard's working you know they have their battery platform so that's something that's already happening but i think you'll see that more into the future you know especially since you can extend your warranty from you know one two three years to ten years it's uh, you know it just needs to head that way and you know that's the best way to get the cost of operation of these machines down is to uh, extend the life of them and get the warranty longer uh, and that's when it starts to make sense to use mowers like mean green and toro and greenworks uh, commercial mowers um, but like i said next thing we're doing is putting the the batteries in this it should give us all the runtime we need throughout the day um, i'll probably spend i would guess somewhere around two thousand dollars getting a battery and charger uh, for this uh, as far as the machine itself if you buy these new at home depot i think it was uh, they're about thirty one hundred dollars with tax i was able to find this one on facebook through one of these warehouses that buys like pallets of tools i was able to get it for sixteen hundred and i see these on facebook marketplace all the time for fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars so you might check your marketplace and a lot of times they're brand new they're they're still on the pallet pretty good price all in i'll probably have less than four thousand dollars in this thing uh, so you know that's that's not too shabby um, considering I would probably spend that much on a push mower with all the batteries I would need to get through the day so and I'll have a machine that'll have a battery with a warranty of 10 years that's next uh, what I've got to do now is I'm actually going to buy a 4 by 6 trailer that we can haul these with with our Priuses uh, I'm gonna go to Lowe's and just get one of their 4 by 6 trailers and see how that holds up I want to keep it very light and very maneuverable um, obviously I'm adding complexity uh, to pulling a trailer you know that's another skill for an employee to to learn but you know I'm trying to find that balance between profitability ease of use and you know uh, just making it a better experience for the for our uh, our team but uh, please leave any comments you have below uh, like I said this thing's doing really well so far I don't have any major concerns you know the only question will be with this machine is longevity you know what's going to wear out how long will these last uh you know what's going to break uh, i've gotten a lot of good feedback from some people who've even put well over a thousand hours on these machines and you know from what i hear they're very good machines but who knows you know we're going we're to be putting them to the test and probably putting 600 hours or so a year on them so and, and looking at our numbers you know uh, to operate these if I had to throw this machine away every year, buy a new one, you know, another one for 1500 or 2000 and just move that 10-year battery over to the new one, uh, it would still be a fraction of the cost to operate uh, as like a commercial mower like the Toro uh, Revolution or Mean Green or, or Greenworks. It would be a frac. it'd probably be a third of the hourly cost uh, uh, to operate those machines. Um, but like I said, the, you know, if those machines had long warranties, 
uh, you know, several thousand hours or charge cycles or whatever, if they had five plus year warranties, uh, that would greatly drive down the cost of those. But unfortunately, they don't right now. So, you know, we're having to get creative and find machines that we can use to fit our needs that will, you know, that we'll be able to run a profitable business with. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to get these batteries on this thing, put a little umbrella on it, maybe even put a fan for the guys and uh, you know that'll completely change the experience mowing over pushing a mower. But thanks and have a great day.